Quick little update on what's been happening. There's some seats in there now in the steering wheel and also some dash and trim down there. Uh, guards are sitting on there. What else have you been doing? Um, been doing the mounts on the diff. Got the top ones done. Got the pan hard rod in there. Just the pan hard rod. It's a hard race item. Um, Got some trim sitting in there. Yeah. Oh, that's just sitting there for now. Just trying to figure out what parts I need. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Need two pieces that go across the top. Um, take off this door because I've got to change the hook to that other red door. Oh, yeah. Um, because wagon and sedan are different. But you can change the hook and that way you can get good doors. Yeah, because wagons come out all the way up to 88, so... There's more available? Yeah, and they're not as rusty. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I had 88 wagon doors on my old sedan. You just change the main hope at the back. The fronts are the same, but the backs are different. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you got the seats sitting in there as well, they bolted in? They are bolted in. They yeah. look good, eh? Yeah, they They look nice. Yeah. Oh, they're just, yeah, KWs, but they do the job. Yeah. yeah. They're better than factories. Yeah, and it's... Oh, yeah, sort of just going through everything at the moment. Just like saying what you need to get. Parts. Yeah, I've lined up some bits and pieces. And yeah, um, finishing work early tomorrow. I've got physio and stuff, so I'm going to swing past J-Car and buy electrical stuff. Oh, and yeah. Relays and start looking at wiring up the engine. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So pretty much this is how the interior is staying. Well, he's gonna get oh, some dash top and door cards yeah. and put some door cards in, dash top on, keeping the no carpet because race car. Got mint trims for here. Um, Headline is pretty good condition. Yeah, it is surprisingly. Um, I'll probably just paint all the interior black. Like the... I've been through the original, <laughs> trying to find original parts phase. Now you just don't really. Then it's, it's, oh, it's just too difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it's not meant to be a show car or anything like that. So. Yeah, it's a cruiser skid to, yeah, yeah, whatever you really want it to be. Yeah, so um, Kiwi Nats is next weekend. Definitely not going to be there, but I want to do the Motocana in Ashburton on the 7th of May. 7th but, of May. So that's more realistic. Yeah. yeah and I want to do the Night Sprints, which is the 14th of May. Just, yeah, a bit better of a time frame. So you reckon you'll be there? Should be. I'm not Should sure be. why I wouldn't be. So I'll put the I'll put the dates on the screen, and if you want to come along and see this thing in person, if I'll, we'll keep you updated if it's actually going to be there or not. But if you see it in person, come say good day to Kev. I'm not sure if I'll be going. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, so you can come see this thing in person. Then we're going to get all the American butt hurts. Like, oh, why didn't you put an LS in it? Because these are easier to find in New Zealand than Alice's. Well, Alice's are easy. Like Alice okay. ones are in Commodores and stuff. And a smaller, um, smaller engine too. That well, the actual size. The Y of the engine, the UZ sits quite low, whereas the Alice is quite narrow, so yeah. it makes it a bit easier. So yeah. ideally, an Alice would have been better, but it's fitment. Yeah. yeah. But. It's a Toyota engine and a Toyota. It still fits between the struts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she sits good, eh? Have you brought it down a little bit more? Engine? Yeah, or is that not moved? Um. Maybe I'm not used to seeing it with the guards. Yeah. The guards take away a lot of the height. Yeah, they do, eh? It sits pretty snug in there. Oh, you got a manifold on, Ish. Uh, it's sitting on the steering column. Yeah. So you're just going to have to... So the passenger's fine. Oh, passenger's no worries. That's old and trunk. This is what Kev does. He hoards Toyota parts, and then they'll eventually get used. And then I have friends that hoard Corolla parts too, so they don't sell already. Yeah. I've got a flatmate that hoards Corolla parts. Quite looking forward to getting the red door on here because then that yeah then you actually see most of it's red. Well, do you want to bolt that up or are you waiting for that? 
Oh, I can't because I've got to cut the hoop out and it's too late to do any grinding at the moment. Yeah, it's like 9.30. Maybe got small kids and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can kind of tinker on this? Yeah, it's Saturday. I should be quite a bit, quite a bit done. Yeah. yeah, I'll be sure to be around on Saturday. But definitely, if you guys are enjoying these videos, drop a like. Um, you know, comment if you have any questions or DM me or Kevin on Instagram. They'll be down in the description. But uh, this is a little update video. There's not really much happening tonight. Just coming, chilling in here. <laughs> Hear that? So if you follow Kevin on Instagram, he'll follow you back. Give you a like or something. Yeah. DM him. Tell him you love him. Hit me in the DMs. Slide into the DMs. But also, anyone in Christchurch that wants to do a video on their car or a build series that might be interesting to the channel, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I'll be sure to get back to you. But we're looking for, you know, projects that are, that are a bit abnormal. Like, well, this isn't abnormal. It's been done plenty of times before. The owner is. <laughs> the owner's abnormal. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what we like to do in New Zealand. Put random shit and other shit. Make it work. Pretty much. Have you seen that video on Facebook? And it's um, it's like nineteen seventies, and it's these two guys talking about how the front fell off. No. Oh, I gotta find it for you. It's um, this guy was like on a boat or something, and they're talking about how the boat's front fell off and dropped like heaps of oil into the ocean. Oh. Fuck, it's funny. Huh. It's a piss take. Not actually serious, like. I um, saw that one of their guys getting shit lifted by the tyre. Oh, yeah. yeah. Guy getting oh. smacked in the back of the head, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'd say he felt pretty fucking sore after. It was, the fucking wheel was carrying some speed as well. Well, I just noticed that from the moment it like hit him to the moment his head hit the ground, his feet didn't touch the ground. No, he just went straight face plant. He like flipped on the spot. Right. Yeah. No falling forwards, no no nothing, just, just bang, shit whipped. <laughs> shit whipped. Are those original Toyota bolts I see? Yes, they are. Oh shit. That's but stock standard, I promise. 4K, 4000, same thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's a 4K. I think people are getting an anxious about seeing this thing start up, eh? Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> There's a few hours of wiring in it. Yeah. Wiring's not fun. I need to find a specific relay as well. Um, that turns the... Um, well, I should have them at J-Cup. Pardon me. Um, at J-Cup. But, um, basically, it sends a signal from a ECU wire to the fuel pump um, so the fuel pump will shut on and off with the engine so if the engine dies the um, fuel pump dies yeah because it, it's for like cert and stuff um, you need it yeah it's a, it's a safety hazard thing like if say you had the fuel pump on, a, on the key so the fuel pump is running even if the engine's not. Um, you have a crash and the engine shuts off, but the fuel keeps pumping into the engine bay. It's just gonna, and it catches, like if it catches fire, then it's just gonna keep. Just keep going, going, yeah. Yeah. And then you're fucked. It's a serious, serious issue. What if you have the fuel pump on a switch panel? Um, it's like. Like, do you have to have a relay when the motor's off, the fuel pump does? You have to have it so that it'll turn off when the engine shuts off. Okay. Because, you know, you could... If you're having a crash where this car's going to catch fire and stuff like that, chances are you're not going to be conscious. So no. you won't be able to flick off the... Fuel pump switch. Fuel pump, yeah. So. Oh, chin spoiler. Oh. Are you going to have a duck tail or something on it? Um, there was one for sale the other day. Sold pretty damn quick. That's what we want. Sort of flush. Sort of flush. So we're just going to run it like that and just hope for the best. Probably end up some 
secured. Yeah, no, I might need another hole drill. Okay, yep. <laughs> I've got like half in. You can take the, take the center off of the steering wheel and then the nuts on your finger tight. Oh, okay. If you want to take the steering wheel off. That might help. You're really tempted to ride times two on that center piece too. Times two. Technically it is twin cam and 16 valve, but on each side of the engine. Yeah. <laughs> so, are these, aren't these A86 wheels? That one is, is out of AE82. So AE82. Oh, the, the front FXGTs? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're cool cars. Does any 80s Corolla or Starlet or. Much Maccas, I can't even fit properly. Ow. There's only shifters that are sitting in there, too. Yeah. Because I have to trim the temperature off. Oh, really? To get it to fit properly? Because it's moved back like 50 mil burst. You have to test fit everything first. Well, I don't know how I'm going to go cruising with you because uh, I can't really fit in a bucket seat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll put up with it. Yeah. If there's a screaming V8, I don't think I'm going to complain about uh, not fitting in a bucket seat. There's sticker residue on your windscreen. Why is that? Um, I don't know. Has this been greenied? car is pink stickered right now. So you still have to get it off pink sticker? Yeah. Oh, right. Thanks to my flatmate <laughs> who owned it like 2011, I think it got stickered. Oh shit, it's been sticking for a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's been through a couple of owners. And, and didn't really do much. No, it's kind of set for a long time. And then you discovered it, and did that. Yes. I'm sort of, it needed, it needed love. All Corollas too. You even got gauges. Why do you have a boost gauge? That was from when it was turbo 3T. Oh. In the, uh, in the wagon. Water temp and oil pressure. You need those two, those are good. Yeah, the boost gauge is, yeah, from the wagon. Just call it vacuum gauge and we're fine. Oh, that looks pretty. That's gonna look good. Have you checked bonnet clearance? Yep. And what are you gonna have to do? Touches. Ah. Yeah. But I think you still gotta cut the centre out. Just the centre. Right. Yeah. Or is there any way we can sink the radiator down a little bit more? No, because at the moment it's already touching the. It's gotta come up. Oh shit. Because what's this out of? Came out of a R32 Skyline. The radiator. Yeah. Give a mismatch of everything on this car. Yeah. You see any adjusties, Primera, was it Primera brakes? Primera rears. Primera rear brakes. C33 Lorel front. Yep, those Lorel front brakes. Every time I go near a Corolla, it ends up with Nissan parts in it. Yeah, because Nissan parts are everywhere because there's a bunch of skid hacks parting out Skylines and shit. 